Th the Peruvian capital Lima is playing host to a conference of indigenous women. The gathering is bringing together representatives from around the world. According to human rights organizations, they are among the most vulnerable people on the planet. But as CCTV's Dan Collins shows us, you might not think so after meeting them. They came from the Americas, Asia, Africa, Europe, even the Arctic to share their stories. The places they came from couldn't be further from each other, but it was like a reunion of old friends. The riot of beautiful colors and costumes, even the similarities in their spiritual ceremonies, spoke volumes. There are indigenous women from every region in the world gathered together in this hotel lobby. And what's extraordinary is that despite language barriers, they're finding they have a tremendous amount in common, especially about how they view the world. United also by the challenges they face in getting access to education, healthcare, and their rightful place in society. And Samante of Maasai from Kenya has thrust aside tradition to become the first woman in her province to have a master's degree. She told CCTV about the challenges of village politics. So we push hard. So you begin as one, you like lobby as, and become a group, and there yeah, you stand against men, not against really, but you're like, you know what, we're gonna be in this committee. From the Arctic Circle to Southern Africa, they are protectors of their land. Land which is increasingly under threat from a global grab of natural resources. As women, they have a special relationship with the earth, said Native American clan mother, Agnes Williams. How can we build sustainable communities for our families, to, for food, and how to have clean drinking water, and to maintain our cultural integrity and our sacred relationship that we have with the earth. Today, in 2013, indigenous women face more challenges than ever. A new survey in Latin America found they are being forced to leave rural areas due to deforestation and mining. In migrating to cities, they often struggle with discrimination and educational disadvantages. Latin America has had a sustained economic growth, but this isn't reflected in terms of equality. It's still the most unequal region in the world. Given this, I think the biggest challenge is to see if new social and political agreements can really implement the collective rights of indigenous peoples. And the collective minds of the 200 women at this event, the first of its kind, will no doubt be focused on how to close those gaps. Dan Collins, CCTV, Lima.